inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the Internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds. It's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Members of my all-star team often hear me talk about the 82% rule. If you've taken my Go Create Some Value workshop, I go into detail about what the 82% rule is. It's something I made up. Yeah, it's you know a little bit quirky on purpose so that you'll remember it. Uh, it's a little bit of a play on the 80-20 rule, but not really. I want to describe the 82% rule and talk about how it actually, well, how it happens in real life, how it how it, it can help us in real life to make decisions that are important. I want to pause and remind you of another important decision, and that is how are you supporting your adjustments? If you're not using Synapse, folks, you're not using the best out there. Check it out by going to sparkforappraisers.com and clicking on the Synapse button. All right, folks, you all know the 80-20 rule. You know, 80% of our success comes from 20% of our efforts or vice versa. Uh, 80% of our difficulties come from uh, the 20% that we're not uh, we're not focused on that we should be focused on. Uh, the 80-20 rule is, uh, is one that can be used in a lot of different uh, environments, right? But the 82% rule to me is a little bit different. The way I describe it is this. 82% of the time, you should be successful. 82% of the time, you should be happy. 82% of the time, you should be living above the average. Okay? So... Do I believe that you're going to wake up every single day and just be jumping for joy that you're alive and you just cannot wait to tackle the day? Of course not, right? I'm realistic. I give give 18% um, of a a cushion, okay? Now, what I will find is is the 82% rule has to apply on a long-term basis, right? Over time basis. Okay, because as the title of this mini-sode suggests, it's okay to be out of balance temporarily. That means you can have a temporary period of time when you are not doing well, right? And and I'm talking weeks and months possibly. Okay. Uh, let me give you a true life example, and I'm still recovering. You can probably see it in my eyes if you're on YouTube. <laughs> I'm still a little bit. My my assistant said today, you sound tired. Uh, yeah, I am a little bit tired. I truly am. Um, but I'm 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 getting there, folks. I'm I'm working through it. Um, so I have done a podcast. I don't know if it has aired or not yet, a full podcast on the farm experience that I've had over the last little bit. And I'm recording this just a just a day after returning from my ton my Montana farm. So for the last uh five and a half weeks. I have probably not had one day off. Um, Most of those days have been, I kid you not, 14 to 16 hour days. We've had a few days that were shy of, uh, of, of 12 hours, okay? And we're not just talking about sitting in front of a computer or, uh, you know, sitting at a desk. We're talking about hard labor from sunup to sundown, trying to get this, this damn um, uh, farm up and running, okay? Now, in that time period, I can tell you that my life has been pretty out of balance. It's not been fun, okay? Um, it's been been challenging, right, to, to work through the process that uh, we've been working through, okay? Um, I can tell you that the reward has been worth it, okay? We're now seeing the success of all of the work that we put into this over the last little bit. But at the time, it feels a little, well, a lot bit discouraging, right? Um, We're making some huge sacrifices financially and labor-wise and and what have you. And and the question is, will it ever pay back, okay? But the point of the podcast today is to say that that 82% should be your overall satisfaction with life or your job or your relationship or your health or whatever whatever you want to plug in there. Right, the eighty-two percent rule can be applied to a lot of different things. Eighteen percent of the time, things can be out of balance. So that can be on a short basis, meaning you can you can have a day that eighteen percent of the day is is dealing with challenges and, and and difficulties, or you can have a a period of time, let's say over a year, 
right? 18% of the days were, were just, you know, it was not a good day today, okay? The question is, is this a long-term trend or is this a temporary situation? I'll answer that or give you some suggestions on that when we get back from the break. For first, I want to remind you that we're sponsored by a great program called Synapse. Synapse, folks, will change the way you appraise. It really will. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying over-exaggerating what, what, what it will do. If you want to have support for your adjustments, you need Synapse. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, Dustin, it's not in my area yet. I can't use it. That's fine. That's okay. It's coming. I promise. They're working on it. But for those of you that have it in your area, what are you waiting for? Seriously, get involved in Synapse. It will change the way that you do business. It will change the way that you do appraisals. Most importantly, it will change the way that you report those appraisals so that the reader understands where you made your decisions from. Synapse can be found on the website of sparkforappraisers.com. One more time, sparkforappraisers.com. <laughs> folks, welcome back to the program. I want to tell you a brief story. Uh, I say brief because it's a mini sode, right? Um, I was recently working on the farm, specifically the gift shop at the farm, um, and we were getting it up and running. So we're still in the construction mode, if you will. And I was hanging some tongue and groove, and I had a ladder that was a good ladder. It was a decent ladder. I'd been using it uh, for hours. It worked just fine. I think I had maybe put it on a piece of something. Maybe it was a piece of tongue and groove. Maybe it was a screw that had fallen down, something. Maybe it was sheetrock. We had done sheetrock two days uh, earlier. Uh, maybe that was still on the floor. But I didn't expect what I got. So I was walking up the ladder with a piece of tongue and groove in my, in my hands. And the ladder was unbalanced. Okay, And as a consequence, my weight, which is a lot, by the way, my weight tipped the ladder in such a way that I fell backward. Now I was able to, thankfully it happened within the first two to three steps. I was able to step back, keep the tongue and groove in hand. This was, I mean, mind blowing. I wish this had been on video. It would have been an incredible feat, uh, but I am very athletic, of course. Um, reflexes like a cat. I was able to keep the tongue and groove in my hand and step back and balance myself, readjust the ladder, right? And, and get back to work. Now, folks, that was the only incident I had on that ladder the entire day, okay? So what did that teach me? Well, not to put your ladder on stupid things, maybe, right? Work with good ladders, right? Make sure that the ladder is secured before you go up, all of those things, right? But what it also taught me is for the most part, the day went pretty well and that ladder worked pretty well, okay? I was able to make some adjustments, if you will, when it didn't work so well. And I think this applies to our lives in many ways, right? Here's the thing, the encouragement that I want to give each of you. Folks, if you find that you hate your job most of the time, may I make a suggestion that either you make some changes so that you start to like your job or you get out completely. Yes, you heard me right. I, on occasion, not very often, but on occasion as a coach, I will say to those on the other side of the Zoom call, have you ever thought about getting out of appraisal? And they might laugh. And I said, no, I'm serious. <laughs> have you ever thought about doing something different? Because I don't know that this is for you. Now, those that come to me for coaching are typically not in that spot. I will tell you that. So it happens very rare. But once in a while, I do have somebody that says, you know what? I want you to coach me and tell me whether I should get out of this. After listening to them, I might agree with them, okay? So folks, either make adjustments in your life so that your life is more in balance and that 82% of the time you can be happy, or maybe you should make a career change completely so that you're happier all the time. Thank you for joining me today, folks. As always, love having you here and go create some value. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.